other conventional wisdoms about Congress, either more broadly or what you hear at the dinner table or from family yeah. and friends that are just, yeah. just simply not true. You're a former Hill staffer. Sure. You've seen how the place works from the inside out. I know I have to explain a lot to friends and family that are just obs casual observers, like, that's actually not how it works, and you have to talk about more in the grains things like incentives of individual members. Yeah. So what other conventional wisdoms do you see not truly I mean, out? I mean, I think the, the, the most damaging uh, piece of common public opinion about Congress is that members of Congress, particularly in the House, aren't responsive to their constituents. Right. I think this is um, hor horrifically wrong, and in fact, I would uh, suggest that the opposite may be the bigger problem, that members of Congress, particularly in the House, are too responsive yes. to their constituencies. And, uh, you know, you see this sometimes, people, people will say the same thing. They'll say, well, you know, members of Congress don't listen to people on, on, on tax cuts. Oh, and also, by the way, they should impeach the president, even though 70% of their constituents right. disagree, <laughs> right? And there's this idea, uh, I think, floating around a lot of the public that Congress should just do whatever they want. And whatever they want not only represents uh, the right thing to do in a national sense, but also represents what most constituents want, mm -hmm. and, and that's just wrong. I, I think most members of Congress are hypersensitive to their constituents, almost to a fall right. in the House, and, and even so in the Senate. So, so that's one thing. Uh, I, I think the second thing that is, is damaging to Congress um, in, in presidential congressional relations is there's a sense out there that members of Congress aren't hardworking or aren't sincere right. people, and this is this is or more. That they only spend time in Washington two days a week. Right. And at home yeah. There. And I, I think I think this is a a, a terrible uh, a terrible fallacy. Most members of Congress are working extremely long hours, uh, often seven days a week. Mm -hmm. And you know this idea that they're in Washington Tuesday to Thursday. Well, that's often true right. on the congressional calendar. But it's not like when they go home Friday to Monday, they're somehow sitting around watching football mm -hmm. games. Uh, often members of Congress would rather be in Washington in terms of pressure on their schedule. Uh, and the amount of time that they are in meetings or, or dealing with constituents in their district can, can really be a drag uh, and can really be something that turns people off about the job. Right. Because it will be so easy to be a member of Congress. Actually, you know, this is a job that is, has a real burnout, right. uh, burnout problem with it. Uh, and a lot of members, you know, walk away from it citing exactly that. It's not worth it. Right.